Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about the difference between speed and velocity. Now, this is a big concept a lot of uh, new students get confused with in physics, so let me just break it, break it down right away. Speed is distance over time, this is the formula given by physics, while velocity is displacement over time. Now let's understand the difference. The keywords here are distance and displacement. Let's understand the difference. Now speed can, can never be negative. Speed is always positive. Always positive. And it's a scalar value. We'll see what that means in a minute. On the other hand, velocity can be positive or negative, And we call that a vector because it has a magnitude in a direction. We'll talk about that in a minute as well. So why is speed always positive? The reason why is because distance is always positive. Distance can never be negative. Let's understand the definition of distance. Let's say I have a number line here, and we have zero, we have negative five, and, oops, positive five, and negative five, okay? Let's just keep it like this. So let's say that you start at zero, you travel five units to the right, and then you travel 10 units to the left. What is my total distance? Now, distance is always positive. Don't get confused with the negative values. We don't care about positive or negative. All we care about is how far did we go in total. What was the total set of units that we traveled? So first we went five to the right. So I'm going to write five plus. Then we went from negative five. From, then we went from positive five all the way to negative five. That's 10 units. So my distance here was what? 15 units. Let's call them meters. Let's say the difference here is meters. So we went 50 meters, okay? Let's say that it took me, I don't know, um, what do you want to say? 10 seconds? Let's say it took me 10 seconds to travel that. So I'm going to say t equals 10. So my speed here will be s equals my distance, which was 15, over my time, which was 10. And this, is, this will be average... Uh, speed, uh, the average of speed, and this line up here denotes, um, this line right here denotes uh, average speed. So we'll just divide that to get 1.5, again, meters per seconds. Remember we said it took me 10 seconds. Meters per second. So now you understand that. Let's look at velocity, or at least we hope you do. Velocity, I'm going to draw the same number line, okay? Same number line. I have a 0, positive 5, negative 5, okay? Now, I told you that velocity is a vector. Why? Because it has a magnitude and a direction. So because velocity can be positive or negative, there must be something in this component that can be positive or negative. Can time be positive or negative? No, not in this case. So... Displacement can be positive or negative. The difference between displacement and distance, again, distance was the total total amount of distance you travel regardless which direction. Displacement cares about direction. Displacement is actually how far away you're from your point of origin or your uh, initial point of, of, of movement. So let's say that you start at zero again and you travel five to the right. And then you turn around and you go all the way to negative five. So you travel 10 units back. What will be your displacement? Remember, I told you that the displacement, the definition means how far away are you from your starting point? So how far away am I from my starting point will be this distance right here, right? Because this is my starting point and I ended down here. So it will be five units, but those units would actually be negative because I'm to the left, not to the right. So my displacement will be negative 5. So my average velocity will be displacement. Again, which the displacement was negative 5 divided by the total time. Let's say it took, again, 10 seconds. So t equals 10. And we'll divide by 10. And then we'll just plug it in the calculator or you can do it in your head to get negative 0 0.05. So this will be equal to negative... 
0.05 meters per second. That will be the difference between speed and velocity here, okay? So again, let's recap. Speed was a, let me change colors here, was a scalar value and it's always positive. It can never be negative, okay? It's always, always positive because distance cannot be negative. Distance is always positive. That's the reason why speed is a positive value. It is a scalar value. Velocity can be positive or negative because displacement can be positive or negative or it can give a direction. Some problems you see will say east, west, north, south. It will have a direction, okay? Velocity, again, is a vector, and a vector just means that it's, it's a parameter or a value that has a magnitude and a direction. So notice that speed only had a magnitude. It didn't have a direction, while velocity does have a magnitude and a direction, okay? So let's practice one more type of problem so to, to put it all together. Let me clear the, the image. So let's say that, that this is your house and that this is your school and I want to find the average speed and average velocity of your, your, the path or uh, that it, you know, you take in the morning and in the afternoon. So well, forgive my drawings here. I know they're not that good. So let's say that in the morning you wake up. Let me change colors here. You walk to school. Oops. Let me change colors. So in the morning, you get up, you walk to school. And let's say that distance is, this is for simplicity purposes, 100 meters. Okay? 100 meters away from school. And it takes you 10 minutes to walk that distance. Then you, when you get out of school in the afternoon, you go back home to the exact same point where you start in the morning. And it takes you exactly the same, 100 meters to get back and 10 minutes. What is your average speed of the path traveled in the morning and in the afternoon all together combined? So the average speed will be the distance. Again, we have to add the, the both paths that we took. So 100 plus 100 will be 200. That'll be the total distance I traveled divided by the total time that it took me to travel those 200 meters, which was 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the afternoon. That'd be a total of 20 minutes. So that's meters. This minutes, we can solve it, and what do we get? Effectively, we get 10 meters per minute. That's our average speed. What is our average velocity? Okay, we want to find our average velocity. We said it was displacement divided by the total time. So, what is our displacement? Remember, displacement means how far away is our endpoint from our starting point. So we started here and we ended at the same place because we started our path when we left home in the morning and we ended at the same place when we got home. What is the displacement? It's zero, right? We, they're not they're not anything apart. So it would be zero meters divided by the total time it took me, 20 minutes. So what is my average velocity? My average Velocity will be zero meters per minute. Okay, so I'm not speeding up. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get into that. But so my average velocity will be zero minute, zero meters per minute, while my average speed will be ten meters per minute. And that is the difference between speed and velocity. I hope this video helped you have a little more clarity on this topic and that it'll ease uh, your uh, your problem solving skills as you move on to different problems that involve both of these aspects of, uh, of critical thinking. Thank you and I hope you share the video with other people that might have the same question. See you in the next video.